Hello, beauty skeptics. Today, we will be making our makeup smudge proof and sweat proof. You're watching Makeup Mythbusters. This is the show where we put crazy makeup tips to the real test. Hey, it's Meg and Jordan Jones, and today we're doing a DIY makeup setting spray. So hopefully this works. It's supposed to make our makeup smudge proof and sweat proof. Yes, which we need because I'm a dancer, I wear a lot of makeup for music videos and stuff like that, and we are both in dance, dance camp. You guys ready to go out there and show them who we are? Yes, sir. Okay, so for this myth, basically you use three tablespoons of distilled water and then one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. Pour it in a spray bottle and then spray it on yourself. We have these gloves to see how much makeup will come off as one person's just gonna have makeup on and one person's just gonna have the makeup setting spray on. Well, I'm ready to get started. This seems like a really simple one, so I hope it works. Well, we're gonna see if it's actually as easy as it seems. It feels weird putting water in a tablespoon, but I'm doing it. The fine substance of life. And now we're gonna open this and put one tablespoon of the She's really good at pronouncing things. <laughs> I just didn't want to say it wrong, so I just didn't say it at all. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, let's pour. Let's put our solution in the bottle. Hopefully I don't fail. Oh. oh, I spilled a little bit, but I did pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty I good. Spilled. Kind of looks like just water, but like then if you look really closely, you're like, nope, there's some Is weird cloudy. Yeah, it's cloudy water. Cloudy water. Cloudy water. Like that gross water when you're making like ramen noodles. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so, it feels weird. I touched a little bit on my hands. That feels really weird. And now let's test this out. Meg is gonna do the spray and I'm gonna do the powder. What's the theory even behind this? Icing colors. Oh, <laughs> I thought she said icing colors. <laughs> It's just like she's icy colors. colors. It says restores consistency of icing colors. Well, her face is not icing colors. Icing <laughs> colors. I just want to like get this over with, spraying oil on my face. I don't really know how this is supposed to work, but I'm just gonna go first and do this. I wish you the best of luck. I'm putting it on my right cheek. Okay. Ooh, fresh. Okay. <gasps> I'll put it on my right cheek too. Just put it up. I think that's good enough. All right, guys, so I tested this on a piece of my right cheek. It's maked up to and, <laughs> and we're gonna see if my foundation comes off, basically, but first I'm like letting it dry. I can't right now. Can someone give me a fan? <laughs> it's just dry enough to apply some gloves? It's very sticky, but like it's not gonna dry anymore, you know what I mean? Okay. So I feel, like, I feel like it's time to try out the gloves. Okay. Let's see. High five. <laughs> a nice soft side swipe of the face. Um, yeah, a lot. Oh, I didn't get that much. Like barely anything came off. Okay, so this is a myth busted then. This is a myth busted. Powder like worked, this stuff didn't, therefore I should not use vegetable glycerin again on my face. Powder, not glycerin. I wish I had some of this powder when we were filming Dance Camp because yes. it would have really helped. And if you guys totally. haven't seen Dance Camp, it is now out on iTunes. Go so check it you out. should go watch it. If you guys have any tips of how you could do this better, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I did something wrong. And if you guys want to see more episodes of Makeup Mythbusters, check them out. They are over there. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. What if we just tested it out by slapping each other's faces? Oh, God. <laughs> like, and you have a whole handprint of just makeup. <laughs>